Hello and welcome to Celeb Vibes, where we bring you the latest and hottest celebrity news from around the world. Whether you're a fan of Hollywood stars, British royals, or pop sensations, I have something for you. In a surprising twist of royal drama, Princess Eugenie has reportedly revealed a rather unexpected secret involving her cousin, Meghan Markle. According to sources, Eugenie claims that Meghan once borrowed her son, August, to pose as Archie in a series of photographs. The revelation has sent shockwaves through royal circles and beyond. It all started when eagle-eyed fans noticed an uncanny resemblance between August Brooksbank and Archie Mountbatten Windsor. This resemblance, it seems, was more than just a coincidence. Eugenie, in a candid moment, allegedly shared that Meghan had asked to borrow August for a few photo shoots, leading to some of the most adorable and widely circulated images of Archie. While the exact reasons behind this unusual request remain a mystery, some speculate it was a playful family moment that got out of hand, while others believe it was a clever way to protect Archie's privacy. Regardless of the motive, this revelation adds another layer to the already intricate tapestry of royal family dynamics. However, Princess Beatrice's husband Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi joined the royals at Sandringham in 2019 for Christmas, and it was all thanks to a tradition that was allowed to be broken for Meghan Markle. One of the highlights of the royal the Christmas is when the family head to Sandringham for their annual festive getaway. King Charles and Queen Camilla as well as the Prince and Princess of Wales and their children are expected to head to the Norfolk estate for the traditional royal Christmas of exchanging presents, attending church and a huge festive lunch. It's not been confirmed yet which members of the firm are due to attend, but among them may be the King's niece Princess Beatrice, her husband Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi, and their two-year-old daughter Sienna. The couple married in an intimate wedding in July 2020 meaning Eduardo now attends official royal events and gets the best seats in the house for celebrations. But in 2019, before they wed, he was invited to Christmas at Sandringham even though tradition said he shouldn't actually have been there. Invites to the family's private Sandringham celebrations are reserved for members of the firm, and partners normally have to wait until they are married to join in. But Eduardo was given the rare privilege of joining the Christmas celebrations despite not officially being part of the family. He was seen making his way with the group to St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham, before they headed back to the main house for their private festivities. However, the tradition was also discarded in 2017 when Prince Harry invited his bride-to-be Meghan Markle ahead of their wedding, paving the way for Beatrice to do the same with Edo. Meghan joined the royals for the three-day Norfolk celebration as her own family were miles away in America. However, the Princess of Wales and Mike Tyndall on the other hand had to wait until they had wed their respective spouses Prince William and Zara Tyndall before being allowed to tuck into the royal turkey. Meanwhile, according to ITV, this year, the guest list for the big Sandringham celebration is set to look a lot different that's because Queen Camilla's family are being invited for the first time. Camilla has two children from her first marriage to Andrew Parker Bowles, Tom and Laura. She also has five grandchildren Lola, Freddie, Eliza, Gus, and Lewis. Thanks for watching guys. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below and please do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell and other to always receive our latest news.